Designer lighting can be very expensive, but what if you had a go at making it yourself? And I've got a great DIY project that you can knock over in a weekend. And it all starts with this timber right here, cut up into different lengths. I need 36 pieces at approximately 140 mil, and eight lengths at 350 mil. You might think I'm going crazy taping all these bits of timber together, but I'm doing it for a reason. There's not going to be any fixings in this slide. They're only going to be glued together, so we need to make sure that every bit of timber is exactly the same length. To do that, I've just overcut all these pieces. Now I'm masking them up, and then we just take one measurement and cut through the lot. All right, now we've got everything cut and still in our bundles. You just want to give it a quick sand around the edges. Now it's time to glue it all up. You just want to make sure that you put some plastic down, because obviously we don't want our timber to get stuck down to our workbench. And while it's still in the bundle, we're actually going to glue both sides up. That way, you're not just doing these little individual edges and it becomes all fiddly and quite frustrating. It's assembled like a mini ladder with spaces to give regular gaps. All up, I need four of these. While that's drying, I'm just going to cut up this aluminium angle. I'm going to use this to stick the four sides together. And to cut it, I'll just be using a hacksaw. To glue it, I'm just using a quick dry adhesive. And by using this aluminium angle, you can see that it creates this stepped-in corner detail, and it gives us an area to glue to. Look at that, our lamp is starting to take shape, but it's not much of a lamp without a light. So for that, I've just got this MDF. I'll drill a hole in it, which will allow me to put the cord through. And to finish it off, I'm just going to use a clear polyurethane spray. It's obviously a lot easier to spray in between all these little gaps rather than using a brush. How about that? I think it looks pretty good. I wouldn't mind waking up next to this every day. And once you've got the design down, Pat, you can make it whatever size you like. You know, I just need to go plug it in.